Wow, ladies and gentlemen, this duel's really starting to rock. Topia and Hugo are going at each other like nothing. Come on, I'm getting impatient. Make your move. Right. I draw. To start my turn, I'll play the spell Evolution Gathering. It adds one XP card and one normal monster from my deck straight to my hand. Then, I'll play the spell card Heart of Evolution once more, and use it to evolve the pocket Ramstomp that lies in my hand. I expand the DNA strand! I, Evolution Summon, level 8, Pocket Centaur! Now I'll activate Pocket Centaur's special ability. By banishing an EXP card from the graveyard, this monster can make all of your monsters lose 1000 attack. And for every monster, I gain 500 life points. And that only leaves your life points to go. Pocket Centaur, attack Void of the Magic Hunters! <laughs> impressive, but not merely impressive enough. I activate the effect of Pyro of the Magic Hunters in my hand. <sighs> my monster may be destroyed, but I can special summon Pyro from my hand to absorb all battle damage. Maybe, but that still leaves Pyro open for an attack. Go! Shamurai Order! And that's where you're also wrong, because now I'm going to activate my trap card, Dud Hunter! With this, I can redirect your attack from Pyro of the Magic Hunters to Blob of the Magic Hunters, which I special summon from my deck. And here's a little trick. Blob of the Magic Hunters cannot be destroyed by battle. Fine. I end my turn with one face down card. Then it's my move, and I draw! To start my turn, I banish Dud Hunter from my graveyard to activate its effect, adding one rank up magic to my hand. Then I overlay level 4 Blob of the Magic Hunters and level 4 Pyro of the Magic Hunters. I exceed summon! Come forth! Rank 4 Voltic of the Magic Hunters! Then I'll activate my trap card, Exceed Reborn. This trap lets me bring Void of the Magic Hunters back from my graveyard. And then I play the spell from my hand, Rank Up Magic, Terra Firma! With this spell card, I can take Void and rank it up by one rank. Well, here's some more of that Rank Up Magic. So what's this one gonna do? Rank Up, Exceed, Evolution! Come forth, Rank 5! Quake of the Magic Hunters! And now I activate Voltic of the Magic Hunters special ability. By using up one overlay unit from this monster, I can make all of your monsters lose 1000 attack. And then Voltic gains 500 for each monster. Uh oh. And then I'll activate the effect of Quake of the Magic Hunters. Since all of your monsters attack points just changed, I can discard an overlay unit from itself to destroy those monsters. Uh oh. <sighs> and now your destruction's inevitable. Voltic, attack his life points directly. And when he does, you can't activate any of your spell or trap cards. My life points aren't quite open yet, Topia. From my graveyard, I'll activate the effect of Pocket Gem Gardener. By banishing one normal pocket monster from my graveyard, I can summon it in defense mode. Furthermore, it can't be destroyed by battle. <sighs> Honestly, you should just stop dragging this duel out while you can. I only wish to destroy fusions, not you. So step out of my way right now. I'm sorry, Topia, but I can't do that. You're going way too far with this revenge plot. And the fusionists have... They've taken everything from me, and I'm supposed to forgive them? No, you don't have to forgive them, don't you see that? Just focus on the future. But the past is all I can think about. Well, why don't you just forget about the past then? You claim to be making a future better for all Exesians. Then do that, then stop trying to cause more war. Well, why don't you just make your move? Fine, if you insist. I draw! To start my turn, I play the spell card Tag Out. With this spell card, I can shuffle Gem Gardener back into my deck and summon a different pocket monster in its place. 
High special summon. Level six. Pocket cursed wanderer. A Gemini monster? What's the purpose of that? I'll tell you the point of it. It's Gemini effect. By Gemini summoning this monster, it can gain its special ability, which adds one banished EXP card from my banished zone back to my hand. Okay, I hope this works. I activate the spell from my hand, Sword Ritual. With this spell card, Cursed Wanderer's attack points double until the end phase. Is that so? Well, in that case, I'll use Quake's ability once more. By discarding one overlay unit, this monster can destroy your monster, since its attack points just changed. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks for that, because now I'm able to do this. I play the spell Heart of Evolution to evolve the pocket Rough It Wolf in my hand. Wait, what? A decoy. That's right. And now I expand the DNA strand and Evolution Summon. Level 6, Pocket High Fool Wolf. Your ace monster, I presume. Now, I activate High Fu Wolf's special ability. By banishing Heart of Evolution from the graveyard, its attack points double. Of course, he can't inflict battle damage, but he can inflict effect damage equal to the destroyed monster's attack. Either way, no matter which monster you attack, it won't be enough to destroy my life points. <sighs> You're right. But at least I can do is get you closer to defeat. High Fu Wolf! Attack! Voltic of the Magic Hunters! Canine Knuckle! Ugh. I have no more cards in my hand, so there's nothing else I can do. I end my turn. Then it's my move once again. I draw! I'll start by playing the spell card. Wonder Wand! With this spell card, I can equip it to my monster. And give it 500 extra attack points. Then, I'll tribute both Wonder Wand and the equipped monster to draw two cards. Why would you get rid of your monster? So I can get a pretty decent spell card out of it. Go! Magic Hunter Lottery! With this spell card, I can banish three Magic Hunter monsters from my graveyard to draw three cards. And if any of those are Magic Hunter monsters, I can special summon them to the field. Catch is, their effects are negated, but that's fine by me. Two out of three aren't bad, so I'll special summon Cloak and Pyro of the Magic Hunters to the field. Huh, lucky. Catch this, they can only be used for Xyz material. But we already know they're going to be only used for Xyz material anyway. Now with these two monsters, I build the Overlay Network. I Xyz summon, rank four, one for all, Dragon! Well, here we go. Now I'll activate one for all special ability. By using up both overlay units, this monster gains 4,000 attack for each overlay unit used. <sighs> now, next time you'll know better than to stand in my way. One for all, attack pocket high fool wolf. Detroit neutron destruction. <laughs> Impossible! How are you still alive? With the effect of Pocket Mirror Cat in my graveyard, I can banish itself and one Pocket Normal Monster from my graveyard to reduce all effect damage I take to zero. And battle damage as well. <sighs> it doesn't matter anyway. You're not even going to survive after what happens next. But just in case, I'll end my turn with one face down card. And it's your move, and one for all dragon's attack points return to normal. Alright, now it's my move. But, we're not done yet. During the end phase, one for all inflicts damage to me equal to the attack points I added to it this turn. Wow. But by discarding my Cory Venge from my hand, I can reduce that damage to zero, and then inflict half of it back to you. Oh. And since you only have 4,000 life points left, that's all you can afford to lose! 